Hello everyone, welcome to the Unplanned Way. Today we'll be going on an early morning trek to one of the most famous date trees and hillocks in the town of Pune, Maharashtra, the Parvati Hill. It is situated at an elevation of 640 meters above sea level and was built in the early mid 17th century. You need to climb 103 steps to reach the top of the hill, some of which are quite steep. This is also a perfect spot for those who love to work out. Early morning jogs and treks are popular at Parvati Hill. Let's see how you can reach the Parvati Hill. Parvati Hill is located about 7 km from the Pune station and 15 km from the Pune International Airport. It is 2 km away from the Pune Swargate bus stop. From the airport, you will need to reach the Swargate bus station by your own vehicle or a public transport. And from the Swargate bus station, you can take an auto to the Parvati Hill. Best time to visit is August to February. In the summer heat, it can be harsh to climb the Parvati Hill. Upon entering the top of the gate, right in front is the Vital Rakumai Mandir. <laughs> To the right of it is the Peshwa Museum and to the left is the main temple. It offers a gorgeous panoramic view of the entire city and the surrounding valley. There is no entry fee, timings are 5 am to 8 pm on all days. Parvati Hill is famous for its temples and the Peshwe Museum. It has the ancient Dev Deveshwar temple and four more temples dedicated to Kartikya, Rama, Vishnu and Victor. According to the legend, the main temple Dev Deveshwar was built in 1749 by Sriman Peshwa III Nana Sahib as a means to fulfill his mother's vow. Kashibai, his mother, was suffering from a chronic foot ailment at the time and went to visit the shrine which was famous for its magical healing powers. There, she prayed for her recovery and pledged to build a beautiful temple once she was cured of her ailment. Soon, she recovered and as per her promise, Nana Sahib constructed what is now known as the Parvati Temple on top of Parvati Hill. There is a terrace entrance built from where you get an even better view of the entire city of Pune. The entry fee here is 10 rupees. Parvati Hill is one of the oldest heritage structures in the city with a history dating back to almost 250 years. This is the Peshwe Museum which is located near the main temple. It displays several items which belong to the Peshwa rulers. The museum will take you on a journey back in time just by its scintillating exhibits. It has many excerpts from the common Maratha life which are kept well preserved. You can understand the rich culture and history of the eras gone by. It consists of ancient manuscripts and the age-old inscriptions along with many 17th century coins, idols and weapons. You can also find portraits and paintings of those times and various things used by the Peshwas. Parvati Hill is also known as the watch crown of the Battle of Turkey. It is from here that Balaji Bajirao, the king of the Peshwas, used to keep a watch on his enemies, the Britishers. It is also from here that he saw their defeat and ultimate retreat. Some points to note while visiting the Parvati Hill. There are little to no eateries or food stalls on the hill, so you need to carry your food, snacks and water while visiting the Parvati Hill. There is also a lack of washroom facilities, so be prepared for that. Parvati Hill tends to get crowded later during the day and finding a parking spot can be challenging as there is no designated parking for Parvati Hill.
Parvati complex also houses the Samadhi Sthan of Srimant Nana Sai Peshwa. It serves as a gentle yet magnificent reminder of the rule of the Peshwas in the region. Just next to it is a beautifully built Kartik Swami temple. A few steps away from the Kartik Swami Mandir is the Vishnu Narayan Mandir. We then began our descent. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. We'll see you in our next video soon.